Hi, my name is Rusty Oliver. Welcome to Hazard Factory. I'm standing in front of the Combat Robotics Armor Test Environment. This shipping container contains a weapon that we're going to use to test uh, robotic armor that will be put in use in the BattleBots environment. The weapon is basically a clone of the Tombstone weapon, so we call it the Tomb Clone. Let's check it out. So here we have a whole bunch of containers that we filled with crushed concrete and the idea is that we can use these to contain any potential debris that's coming off of the impact between uh, the weapon and what, the, what we feed to it. <clears throat> and here is the system itself. We have a 80 pound piece of S7 tool steel which is getting a little bit of moisture from the condensation that's probably coming from the uh, concrete in the boxes here. The bracket here is supporting an optical tachometer and we have a secondary tachometer here that is magnetic. So we're sensing a little uh, magnet here. And the idea is that we can uh, feed a payload into the system so that Zoe has some actual data. Hi. I'm Zoe Stevenson. I compete in BattleBots with my BattleBot Chomp. And Chomp goes up against a whole lot of robots with spinning weapons. When you are competing in BattleBots, you're weight limited. So you have a weight limit and everything you want to do with your robot, you've got to do it within 250 pounds. Our armor takes up quite a bit of our weight and it would be great if we could find some other armor construction, maybe a composite armor, that was a lot lighter but could still take a really solid hit. But we just don't know. It's No one's tested this stuff until... Until now. Until the crate, yeah. So hopefully we'll be able to throw some things at this blade and determine what strategy is going to be the most fruitful for the robot that will be in competition. And we have some ideas and we have to begin by throwing some things at this to see what the result is. Right, so, what survives? We just don't know. Yeah, we really at this point have no idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually really exciting because we could find out some really important stuff. And once we have used this to test some, some objects, we can then hopefully turn that into something that will iteratively provide a higher standard of armor at a lower weight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. All, right, All right, let's do it. Let's check it out. Okay, so this is the moment. We have checked our cameras, we've checked our electrical system, we've checked our pneumatic system, we've installed a GoPro, we have victimizable material in place, and we're ready to feed it to the tomb clone. tested the weapon, we fired it, we threw our bucket with steel material into the blade, we saw an enormous sort of detonation of material, now we're going to see what happened. We're going to uh, get data. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> wow. A little bit of dust. Did we unplug the uh, solenoid? So I think I still hear it. Oh, you can do it locally. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so from this bit of uh, evidentiary material, we're going to conclude that plastic is not a great armor. 